I have covered few of the required steps on my previous tutorials. Find the link to each tutorial in the description and complete them before following this tutorial. The steps you need to complete are, install Virtualmin on Ubuntu VPS. Add your domain name to Virtualmin. Enable Let's Encrypt SSL for domain with Virtualmin. Redirect HTTP to HTTPS with Virtualmin. Optional steps can be skipped but I highly recommend completing them as they are essential to any web application. Once you complete those steps, you can complete following instructions to install ELG on Ubuntu VPS. So let's get right into it. As you can see here, I've already added my domain to Virtualmin and enabled SSL. Completing prerequisites got my VPS ready for most applications out there but we'll need Composer installed on the server to install ELG which isn't covered on the prerequisites so let's take care of that Composer is a dependency management tool for PHP we'll need it since we're building ELG from GitHub repository following commands will install it you need to execute these commands as root user so log into your VPS as root user and install Composer with these commands Now we can use Composer to download and install ELG on our VPS. You need to execute these commands as your ELG domain's admin user. So log in to server as domain admin user and navigate to home directory. Virtualmin creates a public HTML directory for each domain you add. We should install ELG on this directory. But we'll delete it for now. Following commands will create public HTML directory again and download ELG package to it. Now navigate to public HTML directory. Install ELG with Composer.
Execute the same command again. ELG needs a special directory to store uploaded files including profile icons and photos. Official documentation suggests that we use a directory outside of public HTML for this. Let's take care of that too. That command creates a directory named ELG data in domain's home directory. Absolute path to it looks like this which is outside of the public HTML directory. You'll be asked for this directory during ELG web installation. Next we'll configure Nginx rewrite rules for ELG. ELG needs special rewrite rules to be compatible with Nginx web server. You should add them to Nginx configuration file of your domain. This needs to be done with the root account of your VPS. So log back into root account and open nginx configuration file for the domain. Replace example.com with your domain name. Look for this line within the file. And paste these rules below that line. Save and close file by hitting Ctrl plus X. Then restart Nginx web server. That should get your ELG up and running. You'll be able to run ELG web installer now. But we'll configure cron jobs for ELG before doing that. ELG needs cron jobs set up for its background tasks. These include sending out queued notifications, rotating the system log in the database and collecting garbage in the database. We'll add cron rules suggested by ELG documentation. You should switch to domain admin user for this part. and open cron tab with this command. You'll be asked for an editor to use for editing. Nano is the easiest option. Now copy this bunch to a new text file and update with your domain name. Then append the cron tab file with new cron jobs. Now open your domain in the browser and complete the ELG installation. I'll see you in next video.